find out his granddad. back to this week's vlog. As you can see it's a lovely balmy summer's day. So this week we're going to tackle the galley walls. Um, we don't want any big cupboards there but we're, we're having some sort of storage. So I'm just trying to work out uh, what we can have what wood we've got to do it with um, and how it will all fit in. So we're going to be doing a, uh, a unit, a small unit that divides the dinette and the galley, covers up the, the gap between the tiles and the cladding um, and somewhere to hang the glasses and somewhere to hang the cups mainly um, and then I've got a load of jars that I want to try and uh, make some storage on the opposite wall. I'm working this all out before I give it to Grandad because <laughs> he, he, yeah, he thinks we're just having a shelf unit so uh, I thought I'll get it all organised, work out how many bits we've got to cut um, and the sizes and everything so I can hand it to him and hope that he does talk to me for the rest of the day. I've been handed all my instructions and I can assure you I'm not speaking to him for the rest of the day, <laughs> might be for the rest of the week. <laughs> um, We've, we've looked for the wood, haven't we? And uh, we've got the wood, so there's this no is, excuses. This is actually off the worktop, isn't it? That's the, the bit that was left over from the yeah. Iroko worktop. So we're going to use that. Um, and this... We've given a piece of oak trim. Long to, well, they're, they're the ones that go in park benches, aren't they? Uh, no, these are from a uh, school changing room. Oh, right. You know the, the slats that they put on where you used to sit on where you used to have your pegs behind the back yeah. of you, like the Yeah, like a bench. Bench, yeah. Yeah. Just open them. We've, we've cut, cut them in half. Just put some filler in. These are being painted, um, so it doesn't matter what colour filler we've put in. We're using this because um, it was another hardwood and we wanted to use something other than the ply for this shelf. Um, we actually only use one of these but we've uh, made three. Well, we've cut them up, we've kept the rounded edge on this end and squared them off on them bits. These are going to be used for Nanny's wine glass holder, so I'm just going to glue these together, let them set and then come back to them in a bit. That's the last you'll see of this push stick, this green plastic push stick. Um, we'll tell you more about that later, but yeah, this is the very last time you'll see this used for this job. That 
I've sent two, John. Now we need one need of those two strips that we've just cut off, cut to the same length. Yeah. It's going to be just like a piece of IKEA furniture just put into together. <laughs> nice flat pack by the time we cut all these bits. Well, that's shocking, isn't it? Well, that's shocking. You're getting smashed in the eye with a flypaper. I think. I think. Uh, I think that's plenty of flies on that one. That has been hanging up for two years. Still catching them though. That's all the bits then. Can just do the chair. The glass side. Yeah. All those. And the, the rest is down there gluing together. The base. And the back piece that's on the wall. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, that's the one piece. The edge banding I'm using is the same edge banding that we used for the uh, kitchen cabinets that we made uh, a lot earlier. Um, and 
I'm just putting this on the scene, all the visible edges of the plywood, so that when it gets painted, it just makes a nicer finish to it. It does, it makes a much nicer finish. Even if you sand plywood, you still get that. The lines or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it does, some people like that, but for us, it was better that we just edged it with a band and then we can paint over that, can't we? Yeah. So that's another part done now, it's all the sides and the other shelves done um, and I've just given them a coat of bin undercoat before I um, primer, before I paint them blue. Well the rain has stopped and the great clouds are gone and it's turned out a really nice evening but tomorrow we'll probably have that all again. So I've finished painting them now and they're ready to go to one side. And the pieces of oak that we joined together earlier, Grandad's just done a really nice job in cutting the slots out for the glasses to hang on. Um, these will be painted as well, so I'm going to give them a really good sand down before, um, again, a coat of bin and uh, the paint. And the paint that we're using is by Little Green again. All the bits for the shelves that I cut out from the Oroco, well I never cut them out, Grandad cut them out, yeah, uh, yeah. I had to put I in a bit. <laughs> um, uh, yeah they've all been coated with uh, Rustin's, Rustin's Danish, oil. Danish, Danish oil. oil, yeah. So just in case now of just uh, attaching it all together, yeah, that's it. following the, following the uh, instructions. instructions. Well, the person giving the instructions. So we've sorted the wine glasses out, now I just need to sort the uh, hooks for the hooks, I said that a bit loud didn't I? <laughs> yeah, excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the mugs. For the cups. mugs to go on, yeah. cups, yeah. So uh, these little hooks that I've got are ones that you hammer in, they're not the ones that you screw in, so we're just marking them out and getting them in the right place. Now. I would have I wanted five hooks on here because I do like an odd number um, but uh, because of the way they were swinging and the way that they hung. they hung I didn't want them to to hit each other or um, or clash so we've gone with the four instead of the five <laughs> So as well as 
the glass is going into the gap we wanted to put a clip on them so they can't swing if the boat ever gets knocked we don't want them to swing and smash so uh, we thought we'll put the clips on so I brought these off the tinternet um, but and these were attached to these but really they're for a, one glass hanging down one glass upwards one glass hanging down because you can't fit three glasses hanging uh, same way. yeah hanging the same way so we've took them off they were with a little they had a little rivet in we've taken the drilled the rivet out um, and then we're going to put them onto our own piece of wood where we need them so they can be spread apart You said you needed your glasses to do this. They're on your head. To drill the holes. Oh. I couldn't see where the marks were. I could see that. I just couldn't see the holes. And As they say. Yeah. You on them, Nanny? Yeah. So we'll fit that on the back of there. More glue, Grandad. More glue. You ain't got to spread that in. Yeah. A little bit of gorilla, don't we, Nelly? <laughs> Lining everything up now just to make sure that the clips are sort of in the centre of the hole. Shall I hold it and... I'll hold it and you bang it. <laughs> you nod your head Play it again, Sam. You nod your head and I'll hit it. waiting for these for ages these are the pieces that we cut out of the worktop for the sinks and uh, we're having them as chopping boards well we're definitely having one as a chopping board we might have one as a little tabletop going in the saloon bit area but um, we're treating them at the moment as if they're chopping boards, chopping boards. Um, and th this is a roco and then these small bits we're going to use for some little tiny shelves that are going in uh, the the units that you're seeing a bit going on the wall in the between the saloon galley. and the galley uh, uh, between the dinette and dinette the galley. and galley yeah so uh, so we're just oiling them up at the same time and these are the units that we've actually made for that purpose and they cover up the gap between the cladding in the dinette and the tiles in the galley, galley. Um, but they also serve a purpose there's there's not there's, the shelves are very tiny but I'm having some plants on one side and on the, the other side I think I put a photo frame and some little bits but we also want to hide a electric socket that's at the bottom as well. So, um, yeah, that's why we're we're making these. A USB socket. Isn't it? A USB socket. We have so many seeds to sow. When the harvest comes in, it will be time to share what we have grown. spent the bulk of our days feeling free like we were properly stoned till you 
liked everything but the likes of me I can't help but be called We were having the time of our lives when we started Everything And Flash Gormless Oh <laughs> If you're watching, yeah, good idea actually cutting that um, rod rod down um, to put on our blind. Simple idea. Yeah, uh, we didn't even think of that. We just we just put up with it like dangling, <laughs> sticking out. You do. As <laughs> they <So> say. <laughs> least after this week granddad there'll be no more drilling in the tiles phew <laughs> yeah, i promise look and your dust collectors uh <laughs> the ronco 3000 dust collection system yeah yeah that's uh doing it doing, doing its rounds yeah doing its rounds could do with emptying though <laughs> Can't get any big one glasses one big ones so we have to make do with them for that. I'm not even a wine drinker but well we're not wine drinkers are we? I do like I do like my vodka in a, a wine glass though. And my Guinness in a wine glass. that they would hit the tiles they don't know when they're no because that's, that's they can't. That, that it's there and that's stopping it there yeah it? very nice fill them up then nanny yeah get the vodka out granddad so these are the units that separate the two rooms there is going to be a little bit more to these but um i want to upholster the dinette seats first before the, the bottom piece goes on so we're going to put these up but there is a little bit more to this but that won't go up yet no. yep. so we know that bit's over that side of the cable cable Yeah. 
straighten there a bit. Their granddad when the top bit's on. Yeah, it looks a lot there as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Bit of thing on the top there. Yeah. And then that bit boxed in with the down. electric plug in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then a bit of trim down the front. Yeah. And we can't finish this bit until I upholster this. cables are coming out of the wall because it's a USB and we wanted them um, above the gunnels um, the depth of the the back of the USB would mean that we would have to cut away insulation and it'd be near enough touching the steel so um, we decided to actually have our USBs featured in in uh, shelf units or um, Comments yeah something yeah. that's that's away from the actual insulation and the steel wall. I can see it in your eyes Oh yeah But there is no need for sorrow Cause I will be with you every second of my life Sometimes it's just another day to get through But it's not easy when you fly from the truth Next. <laughs> um, right, this is the last shelf unit, and this is going on the opposite wall. This, and was, this was paragraph 13 of your list, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, third page. That'd be alright? Yeah. We've got enough there for, for connecting it up. There's jars sitting on this one, so we've done the the depth of the shelf a bit more than the others. When the night comes crawling And I'm all alone I head for the highway, baby To please my restless bone My restless bone Oh, mm. 
Some little blocks to keep the drawer um, sliding in and out okay um, just not sure whether to have it set back or flush it was supposed to be flush but as I push it back I quite like the look of it pushed back so uh, well we'll decide on that <laughs> we'll decide on that when we can be bothered to put the blocks in um, also we've just got to wait for um some screw, screw heads yeah, yeah the cap ones we run out and uh we just need to get some more but other than that that's all done so now i've got somewhere to put all the drawers and then in that uh, i'm sorry not all the drawers all, all the, the jars. jars and then that little drawer can be for all the all the stolen little nest cafes we uh <laughs> get from hotels we can put in there cost of coffee sugars <laughs> yeah the upstand on um, we just used CT1 that was going to go onto the tile but we wanted the worktop to still be able to move so we've just used the silicon uh, flexible silicon um, underneath that stops any liquids from going under there but and seals it but it's actually allowing that worktop to still move, move. So at this point you may have noticed that granddad's now got a bandage on his finger um, he had a bit of an accident with the green yeah. plastic push along thing that goes through the table saw it hit the blade shattered the plastic the it jumped back cut a big slice of his finger off and um, hit him in the stomach as well so uh yeah i don't like to talk about it though <laughs> <laughs> so it's time to leave and go for a, a belated birthday um trip to sherwood forest for a few days with the grandkids with millie and reggie um and we had a brilliant time it was a great breakaway 
granddad wasn't too happy though because he now had a very, very poorly finger <laughs> that, that he kept complaining about um, and so he couldn't go on anything. Practicing for uh, when they're walking down the gunnels, I suppose. Yeah. No prizes to guess who's going to fall in first, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> bets, bets are on for who's going to be in the cut first. Yeah. After Nanny. Yeah. Well, we've managed to have most of the day without any rain um, but that isn't gonna last much longer Reggie, Reggie. 